What's up, boo? Gang? What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a boo between now and the 31st of December 2018? How the hell is we ending our December tours? Hmm? Hmm? Are y'all making decisions? Life changing decisions because change is upon you and essential to your essence right now. Change is good. Your ass is fixed, so you don't like changes, but guess what? Spirit like, who's there? Change. It's me. Hope you're ready. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I'm definitely going to cuss. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This is simply general, meaning that it will or will not resonate with everybody, okay? Um, please, if it does not resonate, feel free to check your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus, as well as Mars and North Node. There's a lot of uh, transitional things going on right now. So, you guys, I'm not a damn astrologer, but I Google free, all right? So, make it do what it do do, all right? So, again, this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus. I could not end December without just coming to connect with everyone. I was kind of indecisive on if I was going to do mid-month because I'm not going to do it for January. I'm taking a break, break, big breaks, <laughs> big break taking. So, if you have not gotten your reading, please do so. I do. I will be opening up a sale, which is why I got to get all these damn readings up. Only day this week that I'm not going to be working is Christmas. Every other day, I'm fair game. So, Hit me up, alright, because in January, I ain't taking no, look at it. I may or may not do, January, y'all getting monthly. Not to say I love you, not to say I love you any less, just to say, y'all, I'm tired. I ain't had a break since I opened my channel. We finna knock on a year, January 26, 2019. And let me say, you guys, I'm grateful. This has been quite the damn year. Thank you so much, you know, Bull Gang, for allowing me to share my love, my light, my gift, my wisdom with you all. I'm truly appreciative i you couldn't have told me early this year we was going in we was going in the year on 9000 subscribers and i have such a huge soul family so with that said i like to connect with everybody if you've never had a personal with me look you missed not on quite the experience i love you guys um i'm going to be having some specials coming up i know it's christmas time i know we bouncing back with the coin i don't like long intros okay so y'all we gonna get right into it all right to my um new subscribers old subscribers y'all everybody thank you for the likes the shares the subscribes i truly 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 appreciate it to my new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we are dysfunctional we don't fight and fuss but we do cuss all right but we do not you know we leave the other shit on people do leave that fighting and fuss on other people shit all right but we do love we grow we share we enlighten we evolve positive vibes only and we rock and let's get into it so this is for my bull game the sign of taurus for the end of december all right so let's get it get into the spirit messages i did pull a um an angel message for you all i have not seen it yet and so we're gonna i'm actually gonna share that with you guys at the end of the reading let's see how it resonates okay so let's get it spirit Mother, please show me what it is that I needed to see. Let me ask a question first. What the sign? Taurus. Turn around. Turn it in. Okay. All right, Taurus. Y'all trying to get it together? Let me see. Okay. So some of you all may need to be, uh, during this time may be healing. Um, or maybe ending hereditary cycles when it comes to some type of uh, mother figure. This could be the mother of your children, Taurus. This could also be uh, your mother. Hell, you could be the mother. But I definitely feel, yeah, some of you all could also be finding out that someone who you're in love with is pregnant, Taurus. You may find out that you're expecting during this time. Mocha love the kids. Congratulations, okay? But some of you all are really, really, really healing the relationship. Um, especially when it comes to your own mother, Taurus. I feel that some of you all, it's the relationship that you have with your mother and the foundations that you've been taught as far as like how you believe your views around traditions is, as well as some of the things that you guys were exposed to as far as growing up, you know, whether you were, you know, if you came from a single parent household or um, whether you had abandonment issues, maybe, you know, or trust issues for that matter due to the fact that maybe you had a turbulent relationship with your mother. And so that could have set the foundations of how you love or how much, how vulnerable you are to people. But there's this need to truly express your love, okay? And I feel like during this time, it really starts with the foundations. And for some of you all, you're really going to be um, really focusing on and reflecting over your childhood. 
you know, your past relationships, your experiences, um, and also like the lessons that you took that you took out of it. I feel that if you are a male Taurus, you're definitely going to there's definitely a conversation needed to be um had with your mother so that you, so that you can move forward and truly, truly, truly um open your heart up to receive this love that spirit is trying to bestow upon you. Definitely for some of you all, there's great abundance coming to you all. I feel that some of you all who are finding out that you're pregnant, especially if your baby is due to be um Especially if you're pregnant by a water sign. For some of you all, this is fated to happen. And I feel like with this situation, somebody is looking at it as negative because I feel like abundance could be an issue or finances could be an issue. Baby, think if you think lack, then you shall have lack. So let's let's manifest and speak positive affirmations into our world as far as finances because I feel that that is also a factor in your love relationship. And I feel like a relationship is trying, a soulmate relationship, a divine partnership is trying to flourish here, but somebody focused on damn money. OK, I feel that um, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are going to be having a different perspective during this time. Y'all third eye is wide open. Some of you all may um, really be pulled to connect to water or, or to connect, you know, be, to pretty much go out near a body of water so that you can clearly receive your insights. Yeah. Some of you all, this has to do with the soul contract. As above, so below, okay? And I feel like for those of you who are in your head or write about a pregnancy or a particular soulmate relationship, I feel that no matter how much you try to shake, you know, the thoughts of this person, you just truly cannot, Taurus, okay? This person pulls on your, pulls on your, pulls on your heartstrings, all right? For some of you all, yeah, there's this need to complete a cycle that could be from your past. And I feel like Taurus is in this very, very, very reflective, reflective time frame. A lot of y'all are really, really feeling confident during this time. <laughs> you have this all-knowing, yep, this all-knowing, this all-knowing of how to obtain your abundance, okay? But it's how, it's, 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 it's pretty much to each his own. It's what you choose to see as abundance, okay? And for some people, you know, they look at material things, monetary value as abundance. You know, for me, my abundance has to do with prosperity. I speak prosperity within my life. So instead of worried about money, I speak that going as far as legacies. You get what I'm saying? I am prosperous. I am rich. I am abundant. I am healthy. I am wealthy. So it's to each his own as far as abundance. But a lot of you all during this time are really going to be able to see your abundance in a new way. And I feel like it's destined. Reigning abundance is destined for the sign of Taurus, but you guys are really needing to accept the blessing that Spirit is really trying to bestow on you and open up your heart space during this time and truly trust the process and know that you are protected. Some of you all could receive a massive download while in nature during this time. Some of y'all, somebody going on a damn fishing trip. And on this fishing trip, a lot will be there's a different perspective trying to happen, a different way of seeing things trying to occur. Gratitude trying to occur. Taurus, what are you grateful for? When you can truly see what it is that you're grateful for, then you can truly see where it is that you've been. And when you can truly, truly, truly indulge in home, well, I ain't going to even say home, I'm going to say indulge and truly, truly, truly be reflective, but in an empathic way of truly feeling where you've been and some of the hellfires that you had to really beat yourself through, especially this year, there's a need to truly say thank you because there was lessons everywhere if you were paying attention for the right reasons, Taurus. Take that how you want to. Some of you all, true love is truly destined. This could be somebody you guys could definitely could have met someone new and you just want to deal with this person. You and this person, I feel the making of a power couple. Of course, you're looking at somebody different these days. You're looking at somebody different these days. What deck does this deck is screaming out at me? So I'm going to use this crystal angel deck. Let's talk about my fools and love here. Now, whoa, for now. The end of December. Ooh. From now until the end of December. Ooh, gang. Ooh, gang. All right. Spirit, show me what it is I need to see. 
and love that have done quick. Yeah. Some of you all are really needing to drop the burdens during this time. A lot of you all are feeling very overwhelmed around the idea of love. And ultimately, I feel that your heart screams, I want to be in love. I want to be loved. I want to open to receive. I truly want to indulge in that vibration because I know it's the highest vibration of all, as I've learned that on my journey too. For some of you all learning it through heartbreak and disappointment. Yeah. For some of you all, this has to do with the Leo. For some of you all, it has to do with a uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely feel that my Taurus is in love, but they're keeping their feelings to themselves. They don't want to be vulnerable. I feel that they're using money. You guys are going to be using money, working finances as a crutch, okay? But you don't, you don't know that this is only keeping you all stuck. And I feel like some of my Torians are going to be coming out of their energy during this time. Some of y'all are going to be releasing you selves away from a job and not telling no damn body. You're focused on what it is that you want to bring to the surface and what it is that you want to manifest. Good shit, Taurus. Good shit. But uh, about these opening up, opening up these emotions stuff, okay? Because for some of you all, some of y'all really don't know if you want to put in the work or not to move forward or take a damn air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, into your damn uh, 2019. Some of y'all feel like their relationship has been stagnant. I feel that there is love for this person. I feel towards, to be honest, y'all, some of y'all love this person. But for some of you all, you your own worst enemy because every time you get ready to open up that damn heart space, you find something negative to look at versus actually trusting in the positive, trusting in your manifestation abilities to receive that love. How the hell are you going to, some of y'all trying to manifest love and then before it even gets to you or before it's right up in your damn, it could be right up in your damn face if you find a reason for it to be wrong. Try to see the glass as half full, not half empty, baby. Y'all definitely, y'all definitely completing cycles though, having conversations, all these settings. You guys, Taurus, y'all reigning abundance. I see abundance in love. Abundance emotionally, spiritually during this time. Some of y'all are being very defensive toward working with someone, okay? And I feel like this is someone who you could have been with for quite some time. But some of you all, it's a Pisces. But I feel like some of y'all, y'all could have been dealing with this person seven years, seven months. Some of y'all could also be seeing the number seven. Y'all, abundance is up on y'all. Taurus, y'all got some win the lottery energy in the year. All these damn sevens. All right, yeah. Some of you guys are coming out of this feeling of feeling, you know, being afraid that you're going to be rejected, okay? Or this could be this water sign within your energy, because y'all definitely got water in the field, and some of y'all have a family with the water sign, all right? I feel like there was a sense of defensiveness to this person, Taurus, all right? But some of you guys are definitely opening up. Some of y'all are keeping y'all feelings to y'all self, though, because you're internally conflicted. Some of you all are looking at love as a distraction, as if, if I take this offer, if I decide to move, you know, and open my heart to receive, is it going to affect me financially? Because I'm really start. Some of y'all had to start over this year. And you right at the peak of your goal. And so I feel like some of y'all are really internally conflicted. Some of y'all don't know what moves to make as far as um, allowing an air sign in. I feel like in the past, this person could be very, very emotionally manipulative. This person could also be very intuitive. Uh, some of you all are very intuitive. Some of you all are very intuitive. And I feel like you're kind of conflicted about someone who could also be intuitive as well. Some of y'all are dealing with a medium as well. You could want a family with this person. You could also be receiving dreams during this time to give you insight about someone. And again, five, five. Some of y'all been seeing all them damn five changes is upon you, whether you like it or not. Okay? For some of you, kill this internal conflict. Some of y'all are very internal conflicted about a family situation. I feel like you see stability there. You see that there could be a firm foundation, especially when it comes to practical matters, okay? But for some of you, some of y'all like a friend. Some of y'all like y'all friend. Some of y'all also in conflict with a, some of y'all in conflict with a, um, with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could have made you feel, you could have cut off a fire sign or a fire sign cut you off. I feel that my Torians are really feeling rejected during this time. Yeah. Some of you all, it could have to do with, um, Somebody reveals some secrets or some secrets are going to be uh, revealed to you around the family situation. Some of you guys are going to find out about some type of inheritance or uh, some type of, I'm hearing, lost money. 
And I feel like this is a catalyst situation to move you forward, especially for my Taurus who could have recently cut off an air sign or a fire sign during this time. But a lot of you guys are ending cycles to move into new ones. And I feel like, yeah, into new ones, into love, into love. Let's not fight. Can we just fuck? I don't think I can say that. It's my shit. Can we just do it all night long? I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more. Some of y'all are conflicted up on um moving forward towards a family situation. Huh. This Gemini, though. Some of y'all, there's definitely a twin flame relationship trying to surface as well for some of you all. But some of you all, you're going to be communicating possibly to a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that, hey, I want to move forward. I want to make this offer. And I feel like you're going to do it in a playful way. Some of y'all are going to ask someone out maybe in a playful way. Some are y'all, some y'all, somebody's going to be receiving flowers. <laughs> someone been trying to manifest a particular mate. I see you're going to get what you want, especially if that mate is an Aquarian person. Or some of y'all are coming out of a place of feeling rejection or feeling like you're not being accepted by an Aquarius person. You and this person are both going, Taurus, whoever you're dealing with, you and this person are both going through a massive awakening during this time as well. Some of y'all, it's, it's safe to move forward on your business endeavors as well. Let me clarify this major coming. Some of y'all are proposing to somebody and you're getting, um, <laughs> you're getting cold feet. I feel like, and I feel like this has to do with a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of y'all, I, I feel like you've been more so in your head about it that it's driving you nuts. Go to sleep, Taurus. <laughs> Some of y'all gonna make an offer for those of you who've been waiting for that new job opportunity. Here it come, baby. Here it come. You need to be a little. You need to have a little bit more faith in what you do, Taurus. Some of you guys worry entirely too much. If you're gonna pray, don't worry. If you're gonna worry, don't pray. Because those two damn vibrations, one contradicting the other, they don't go together. Make up your mind. God ain't the author of confusion. Some of y'all have a water sign want to come in slowly but surely. They ain't fucked up before. They ain't trying to fuck up no more. Some of y'all got a Leo manifesting you, Taurus. Y'all on Leo here. Some of y'all is getting into it with the sign of cancer as well. What's going on with cancer? Some of y'all are truly dropping the damn... Some of y'all doing this here, washing your hands to a Sagittarius. Someone who could have been actually attached to someone else. Moving forward in the new year, you're very defensive toward that person. Some of y'all straight up telling that person, Hell no, nah, your ass can't come into my 19. Hell to the no, no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, no. So let's clarify this major icon on the board. Spirit, clarify the strength card. Ooh, thank you. Yeah. For some of you, all this has to do with a past life relationship. For some of you, it's definitely someone from your past. I feel like there could have been an equal, an equal, there could have been an issue of equal give and take. Somebody wanted to love right then, and Taurus was trying to get some money. <laughs> clarify this hangman. Clarify this hangman in reverse. What is Taurus releasing themselves from? For some of y'all, it's a Pisces. Yeah. Some of y'all are actually coming out of this internal conflict and actually releasing yourself and moving forward away from a Pisces person. And I feel like you've tried, you've tried, you've tried, but you feel like your efforts weren't good enough and it put you in a very in, kind of insecure place. I feel like for the past four weeks, four months, four days. Y'all coming out of that shit, though, Taurus. You get ready to move forward and manifest your dreams. Why is the star card here? Yeah. But some of you guys, <laughs> yeah, some of you guys are definitely going to be moving forward, making an offer to an Aquarian person. I feel like you've had your eyes on this person. Likewise, they've been watching you, too. With y'all stalking ass. Is somebody stalking and not talking up in the building? Why is the world card here, Spirit? Yeah. I feel that for some of you all, there's someone, this could be, um, this could be someone who is a bit controlling. Maybe you, Taurus, or someone in your energy have been trying to manipulate the cycle to keep it going. And you are now recognizing that, hey, some shit got to stop. Shit got to end. I got to put my boundaries up. Shit got to go this way or I got to get gone. Motherfucker, if you can't get right, 
Get your ass low. Make, make me leave you. Shit, some of y'all is jamming Beyonce real loud. Shit. That, <laughs> Why is the moon card here, Spirit from Alta? Yeah. For some of you all, some of you all, you have a new beginning. Some of y'all have just been pos saving my money, saving my money. Save my money and now you're ready to put in a deposit, okay? For some of you all, you may be receiving something from somebody in order to start something new, that bank loan, um, that, that bank loan, that um I'm also hearing inheritance. Somebody's gonna be finding out that there was some money hidden from them or someone that you're dealing with that you could have a family with comes into some type of inheritance toward the end of the month. Or the end of the month. I got love and money. Conflict. Insecurities and shit come out of that. Come out of that, Taurus. Why is this Ace of Chalices here? Yep, again, ain't that some shit? How the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Cups? Look out. Love is inevitable. Stability is inevitable. That coin is, ine is inevitable. Healing, okay? Moving away, all right? For some of you all, you're getting ready to uh, possibly tell everyone in your family and tell people close to you that you're actually making a physical move, all right? Some of you guys are actually starting businesses outside of the state or the city where you're from. And I feel like you've been internally conflicted about it because you're just comfortable in your way, but change is good. This lover's card, yeah. For some of you all, with this lover's card... Some of you all have to move away from someone in order to move towards your true divine love or for that matter, move away from your attachments of the fears and the doubts based on what you've been through in the past. Okay, in order to accept new love, to know that everybody ain't cheating, everybody don't steal, everybody ain't fucking on their baby mama, baby daddy, everybody, look, everybody ain't crazy, everybody don't hide in the bushes, everybody don't tell your shit up, the change is good towards Okay, then I know y'all like, but really, y'all done been through some shit. Okay? Shit, don't don't get it twisted. Evolve now, but I used to be ratchet, ratchet, but let's move on, all right? But some of you all, <laughs> some of you all could also be dealing with, the uh, again, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could also be, um, this could also be another earth sign, like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys are wanting to, or actually like some type of, um, financial offer some of you guys are also going to be receiving some type of business proposition or trying to partner with someone in business and i do see it being successful if you choose to trust the process but Taurus, there's definitely a need to heal and be allowing to love in order to manifest what it is that you truly want and get, and get on your best king shit and for some of y'all it's an aries leo sagittarius and i feel like this is someone who you've wanted for quite some time i feel like Either you or this other person, you know, both you and this other person, it looks like that you're going to have to release something in order to move forward. Some of y'all, you're going to have to release someone. Some of y'all got a bunch of options. Some of y'all going to have to release some people, okay? The party. But I do see it looking very smooth during this time, Taurus. Smooth sailing as long as you're going to be allowing. And again... That love equal give and take in this beat. <laughs> so I asked the angels, angels, what do you have? What message do you have for the sign of Taurus? And these messages come from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? And who speaks to you is Archangel Chamuel. I'm here helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. You see the wings on him? You understand? It's a bunch of winged, it, it, it's a few, like, winged animals, as well as angelic messages, even within, like, angelic messages, even within the depiction of the cards, okay? So that lets me know that spirit is definitely protecting this union. Whether you like it or not, Taurus, it's fated for you. It's destiny. And if you truly allow it, I'm like, T.I., I wish I could wink. You can have whatever. Spirit, like, you can have whatever you like. You understand? If you truly trust and not be afraid of the change, success is yours. What you going to do? What you going to do? This is what I have for my Taurus. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. I'm telling you, I'm working my ass out to December because in January, Mocha's going on a vacation. And y'all going to miss me. I'm going to miss y'all too, but I'm going to be popping in here and there. I love you all, Taurus. Much love, much light, much healing. Be allowing 
Okay? All right? Speak the great I am. I love you, bull gang. This is what I have for you. Namaste.